Hello Oracle Database World, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database video YouTube tutorial, I am going to show you how to delete the entire contents of the, in the, all the, the, everything that's in the recycle bin that belongs to any user, regardless of the owner, okay? Um, now, in Oracle Database version 10G, starting in version 10G, you have the ability to um, recycle database objects when you drop them in a schema. Okay, for instance, if you were to drop a table, that table doesn't get deleted forever from the database. It gets put into a recycling bin, allowing you the opportunity to um, bring it back if you need to. Okay, and uh, this is similar to the recycle bin that's on Microsoft Windows operating systems on the desktop. Okay, where you delete a file and you can, you know, get it back from a recycling bin if you need it. Okay. But in this example, I'm going to show you how to delete, how to clear the recycle bin period of all objects. Because you know, with all your users, you know that no matter what they dropped, it doesn't matter. Okay, you do want to purge the entire recycle bin. You don't want them to ever bring that data back. Either they can recreate it easily from the source or whatever. Okay, now by default, um, in Oracle Database 10G, the default behavior is that the recycle bin is enabled by default, and, and the default behavior is that Oracle Database will always take dropped objects and put them in the recycle bin. Okay, so, that being said, let's go ahead, I'll, I'll show you how to drop all the objects in the recycle bin. So, we're going to set up Oracle SID to finance. We're going to ensure we're set properly. So, or, echo Oracle underscore SID finance. Now, I've created two users, Justin and Minka. Okay, we're going to log in as my user first. Justin, I'm going to type in my password. I'm going to do a show user and see that I'm connected to the database as user Justin. Now I'm going to select table underscore name from user underscore tables. And I will see that Justin owns two tables, addresses and names. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop both of those tables. Drop addresses. Oops, drop table addresses, my apologies. And I'm also going to drop the table name. Drop table name. Okay, now when I do a select table underscore name from user tables, I will see that there are no objects in this, um, no tables that this user owns. But if I do a select original. underscore name from recycle bin I will see that user Justin has thrown in a recycle bin two tables addresses and names now I'm gonna log into the database with user Minka another user I created I do a show user and I see I'm connected to the database as user Minka now I'm gonna type in select table underscore name from user underscore tables and I will see that Minka has two tables of her own, hobbies and phone. I'm going to go ahead and delete these two tables. Drop table, hobbies. Drop table, phone. Now when I do a select table underscore name from user underscore tables, I will see that those tables are no longer there. But if I say select original underscore name from recycle bin, I will see that user Minka has deleted tables, hobbies, and phone because they're now in the recycle bin. Okay, and user Justin has the tables, addresses, and names in the recycle bin. Okay, so the recycle bin has four tables in them, two of them owned by one user, user Justin, and the other two owned by another user, user Minka. Now I'm going to connect to my database as the SysDBA user, user Sys. Do a show user. The user sys. Now, once connected as sysdba user, I am going to select from a data from a data dictionary view called dba underscore recycle bin. And remember, all data dictionary views that start with dba show you all the views, all those objects in that database that belong to everyone. So, type in select owner comma original underscore name from DBA recycle bin. So select owner comma original underscore name from DBA underscore recycle bin. 
and we will see here are four objects that's there in the recycle bin. We have addresses and names owned by Justin, and we have hobbies and phone owned by Minka. Okay? And if we type in select original underscore name and type from CBA recycle bin, we will see that all four of these objects, addresses, names, hobbies, and phone, are tables. Okay? So we see from the deep as the SysDBA user from the DBA underscore recycle bin view, uh, data dictionary view, we see that there are four tape four objects, two of them in a recycle bin. One's addresses, one's names owned by user schema Justin. One's is hobbies, another is phone owned by user schema Minka. Alright, and all four of them are tables. So if you want to delete all of the um, everything that's in these everything that's in the recycle bin regardless of the user and you can do it because you're the DBA you type in the following it's one command purge space DBA underscore recycle bin okay DBA recycle bin purged purge DBA underscore recycle bin now if I say select owner comma uh, original underscore name from DBA recycle bin, no object selected because I purged the recycle bin, manually purged the recycle bin, or explicitly purged, whatever you want to say, of everything that's in the recycle bin regardless of who owns the object. Okay, so these four objects owned by two different users no longer are no longer in the recycle bin. They're deleted um, permanently. And if I log back in as user Justin, say select original underscore name from recycle bin. Oops. Original name from recycle bin I will see that there is nothing in there because this DBA deleted them for you and it's the same thing if you log in as user Minka select original name from DBA I'm sorry from recycle bin no row selected okay so that's how you permanently delete objects from a recycle bin regardless of the owner. You do it as sysdba. Thank you.